Hello everyone. Today in this lesson we are going to deal with the motion in a plane with a constant acceleration. So first of all let's discuss about what is meant by uniform acceleration. So a body is said to be moving with a uniform acceleration if its velocity vector suffers same change in the same time interval. So as we already learned about the uniform acceleration. Now let's discuss about the velocity vector for uniform acceleration. Okay. So we are going to deal with the body is moving with a uniform acceleration in a plane. So just imagine V0, that's a vector quantity, right? So V0 and V vector are the velocity vector when the time is equal to 0 and when time is equal to t. Okay. So this is the initial velocity vector and this is the final velocity vector. As we already know, acceleration vector a is equal to final velocity minus initial velocity. That means change in velocity divided by change in time. So we can write here v vector minus v0 vector divided by t minus 0. That is equal to v vector minus v0 vector divided by t. So we can write this equation. If you rearrange this equation, we can write it as a vector into t is equal to v vector minus v0 vector or we can simply write it as v vector is equal to v0 vector plus a vector into t that is same as what v is equal to u plus a t if we write this equation in terms of rectangular components we can write this equation as v x i cap plus v y j cap that means the final velocity vector will have two components one is x component other one is y component because we are talking about in a plane okay so this is equal to now what is the initial velocity vector v0 that v0 will also have x component and y component correct so we can write here v0 x into i cap plus v0 y into j cap so we got now here what the components for v0 now plus what is the next one here that is acceleration vector so here acceleration vector also can make into two components so we can write here a x i cap plus a y j cap into t so if you compare this coefficient of i cap and j cap on both sides so we can write this equation as only i term that means v x is equal to v 0 x plus a x into t same way the y component of v y how you can write the v y is equal to v 0 y plus a y into t so from this equation what we are concluding here that motion in a plane that means two dimensional motion can be treated as two separate simultaneous one dimensional motions with a constant acceleration along two perpendicular directions. Now let's discuss about position vector for uniform acceleration. Okay, the position vector here also once again we are discussing motion in a plane. So consider a particle is moving with a uniform acceleration. Okay, this is written as what a vector. Let r0 vector and r vector are the position vectors when the time is equal to 0 and when time is equal to t. So r0 and r vector is what? This is the initial position vector and this is the final position vector. So how we can write the displacement? So we can write here displacement is equal to average velocity. Displacement is equal to average velocity into time interval into time interval now what is the average velocity for a uniformly accelerated motion as we already know for a uniformly accelerated motion the average velocity can be written as what v0 vector plus v vector divided by 2 that is initial velocity plus final velocity divided by 2 for a uniformly accelerated motion displacement we can write here what final position vector minus initial position vector now you can write this equation as into what is the time interval taken here time interval is equal to t 
because it is t minus 0, right? So it is same as what t. Now we can write this equation as r vector minus r0 vector is equal to v0 vector plus. Now, final velocity. As we all know, final velocity formula is what? v0 vector plus a vector into t. v is equal to u plus a t form. So we can write here for v vector. We can write the v0 vector plus a vector into t into t. Okay, so you can write in bracket here. Divided by 2. So what is the equation become? r vector minus r0 vector is equal to, you see this one, v0 plus v0, that become 2 v0 divided by 2 into t. Correct? So we can write this equation as if you rearrange, you can write this one, v0 into t, v0 into t plus remaining one is what? a t into t divided by 2, that is half into a vector into t square half into a vector into t square. So we can write this equation as r vector, final position vector is equal to what? r0 vector plus v0 vector into t plus half into a vector into t square. Now let's write this equation in terms of rectangular components. So r vector can be written as, that is a final position can be written as x i cap plus y j cap that is the x component and y component of the r vector which is equal to we can write the x component and y component of the r0 vector initial position so we can write here x0 i cap plus y0 j cap so we have written for initial position right now plus what is the initial velocity we can write here in terms of rectangular components v0 x i plus v0 y j correct into t into t plus what is remaining one now here half a t square so half into a vector can also resolve into 2 so we can write here what a x i cap plus a y j cap into t square into t square now if you equate the coefficient of i vector and j vector on both sides you can write this equation as x is equal to x0 plus remaining one v0 x t plus half into a x t square. So this is the in terms of x component. Now in terms of y component we can write the y is equal to okay y0 plus v0 y into t plus half into a y t square. So what we are making conclusion in this case here, the motion in a plane with the uniform acceleration can be treated as the superposition of two separate simultaneous one dimensional motion. You see this one, two separate one dimensional motions along two perpendicular direction. So this is a way to write word position vector for uniform acceleration or uniformly accelerated motion. I hope you understand this one. Thank you all of you.